Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 24. Inside this video, we are going to continue migration and inside this we will see adding columns to our database table. And also guys, if you are looking at the blog articles of CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, then you must visit this blogging website. If I back to browser, this is the blogging website. Here we have the different different categories which contains different different interesting blog articles. Also if I scroll that, you can see we have a section of latest blog post which actually displaying the recently posted blog articles. Back to the topic, inside this video we are going to add few columns inside our database table. In the last video of migration, we had discussed the complete concept of migration, where we had seen what is migration, how we use it, what is the use of up and down method. If I back to editor, this is the file what we have created called create underscore students underscore table. So to create a migration file, we have simply used a command called phpartition make migration and you may say this is a file name. After running this command, we have generated this file. Inside this class file, we have two methods called up and down method. Inside this up method, if we want to add the number of columns, we need to use this up method. So right now we have a id method and timestamps. So after migrating this file, it has generated few columns inside a students table. So go inside that click on structure. So right now inside this table we have a id column created at and updated at. So this id column comes from this id method and the rest columns called created at, updated at and they are coming from this timestamps method. So apart from id and timestamp columns we want something like name, email, mobile, age. So how can we add that? So to add those values, we need to use the other methods. These method methods basically represents the data type. So let's say we have a name column which contains a string value. So here we need to use a string and inside this string, let's say that we have a name value and we want the name value should have the maximum length equal to 120 characters. So to see all the available methods what available inside migration, back here, go to official documentation, click on documentation, go inside this database, click on migrations. Now inside this documentation, we will see the complete guide to create our columns. So here we should see a column section. Inside this we have creating columns and these are available column types. So for name, we had used the string method. So if we find this is all about a string and as we can see that it contains a varchar. This is the num name of the column and number of characters that actually we need to pass inside this name column. Go to editor. Let's say apart from this name, we are going to use two more string types. This is for the email and next let's say this is for the mobile number. For email number 50 characters, for the mobile number let's say 20 characters. We are going to add one more column and this is let's say age and the age value should have an integer value. So here we need to change the integer which is a data type so it should be in teaser and here's the column name. Next we want something a gender column which is a enum type and that supported value we need to pass so what I will do simply copy let's say we have a gender column and inside this this time we are going to use enum method and also inside this column we want supported default data set value so making a secondary Inside this, let's say we have male, we have female 
and we have the others as the default options. So here inside this table we have an ID column or a string means a varchar which have a 120 characters, 50 characters, 20 characters, we have an int type, column name equal to age. Here we have the another data type called enum, this is the column name and this is default dataset values. Let's add one more column. This is going to add store the address information so here it should be address info as the column name and as we know that the address column should have the multi lines of information so it should be type equal to text. Now what I will do if we save these changes back to terminal close this development server and if I type php artition first of all we need to migrate means roll back what we had done in the last video so I am pressing enter it is rolling all the tables and drop from the database go here click on the database so right now we don't have any table this is a single table why this table exists we actually understood in the last video so again I am going to migrate all the tables one more time so PHP artition let's say migrate hitting enter it, Im it is migrating all the tables back to database reload that here we have the students table I am clicking on that click on a structure and inside this students table now as we can see that we have a name column type varchar 120 characters of length email column varchar 50 characters on length mobile number varchar 20 characters of length here we have the each column in teaser type gender enum type these are the default values address info this is a type of text so successfully we have added our required columns inside this database back to documentation so apart from used methods we have several methods inside this we can use each data type as our required table structure if I scroll down here we have the next as column modifiers column modifiers is basically used to modify our columns or to add extra useful contents let's say that as we know that inside these columns like name email mobile number means all these columns we don't have any default values or let's say we don't have any information li like that the name value is going to accept any null value or not so by default it is not going to accept the null value so what we want in some cases user don't have their email address and mobile number so we want that to make these columns to accept the null value so this is a column modifier method back here so to add null value to any column as the default value simply we need to pass the column modifier method as nullable so if I copy this method back to editor we need to make with this email address it's a method and with the mobile number it's a method so this is nullable indicating email and mobile is going to accept the null values also in some cases if we insert any data the integer value we want that should have a default value equals to 1 so to pass any default value inside any column we have a default method keep in mind this is in lower case so default and inside this case I am simply passing one which indicates that the each column should have the default value equals to one also in some cases you had seen I think like a useful comment added to any column what I mean if I simply back to this blogging website how to add comments to columns click on this article link scroll down so here as we can see that we have an image inside this image this is showing a table inside this table we have the columns as ID name email address role ID and status inside this role ID if we insert the value equals to 1 so 1 indicates super admin this is very useful comment 
which we had written inside this column to indicates admin so this is useful extra content so if we want to add such type of comment we have another column modifier method and that is with the name of comment so to how to add simply go here and let's say that comment and if we provide let's say please provide your full address now if we save all these changes here we have used the column modifiers as in the label default and comment so if we do all the changes save this file back to terminal now again we need to run two commands called php artisan migrate rollback and php artisan migrate one command is used to drop all the tables and the other command is used to create or migrate all the migrations so to perform these two operations into a single command we have the alternative option as php artisan migrate and here we have called the refresh by using this command simply we are going to make use of this rollback as well as the migrate command so if i press enter wait for a while as we can see this is rolling back and again it is doing the same operation as migration so save all these changes go inside database click on reload and as we can see that for this email and mobile number we have the default value as the null value also in case of age we have passed the default value equals to 1 so here it is and address info this is a type of text so all the things now working exactly what we need and one more thing in some cases let's say that as we can see inside these columns called created at and updated at which has been generated by using this timestamps method and if we see inside this default column it is also going to accept null value so what we want we want that if we insert any new value inside this table the current timestamp should have the default value current timestamp not the null value so also we have an option inside this column modifier and this is asked use current so how to use simply if we copy and uh, let's say that use current so it is not going to work how to use simply this time stamps method generating two columns so convert into timestamp and let's say that the first column we have called created at copy and pasting it here so we are creating created at column with use current as the default value means default value as the current timestamp again if we do the same changes for let's say updated at copy this column name and pasting it here now we are generating a id string values in teaser enum type type equal to text and two timestamp value so successfully guys inside this video we had seen that how can we alter a table or listen to add the number of columns inside any of the database table so this is the handy technique of using migrations in the next video we will see some different more concepts so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day